Debri Hayamim Aleph, chapter 26, for the divisions of the gatekeepers of the Korhites, Meshalim Yahu, son of Kor, of the sons of Asaph, and the sons of Meshalim Yahu, Zakar Yahu, the firstborn, Yediyael, the second, Zabad Yahu, the third, Yathniel, the fourth, Elam, the fifth, Yehohanan, the sixth, Elio and Nay, the seventh, and the sons of Obed Edom, Shemaiah, the firstborn, Yehozabad, the second, Yoah, the third, Sakar, the fourth, Nathanael, the fifth, Amiel, the sixth, Yisakar, the seventh, Peulatha, the eighth, for Elohim blessed him, also to Shemaiah, also to Shemaiah, his son were sons born who ruled their father's houses because they were able mighty men. The sons of Shemaiah, Othni and Raphael and Obed, Elzabad, whose brothers Elihu and Shemachyahu were able men. All these were the sons of Obed Edom, they and their sons and their brothers, able men with strength for the work. 62 of Obed-Edom and Meshalim Yahu had sons and brothers, 18 able men. Also, Hosa of the children of Merari had sons, Shimri the head. Although he was not the firstborn, his father made him the head. Hilkiyahu the second, Tabal Yahu the third, Zakar Yahu the fourth. All the sons and brothers of Hosa were 13. These divisions of the gatekeepers among the chief men had duties like their brothers to serve in the house of Yah, and they cast lots for each gate, the small as well as the great, according to their father's house. And the lot to the east fell to Shalem Yahu. Then they cast lots for his son Zakar Yahu, a wise counselor, and his lot came out to the north, and Obed Edom to the south, and to his sons the storehouse to Shupim and Hosa to the west, with the Shalaketh gate on the ascending highway, guard corresponding with guard. On the east were six lay weeks, on the north four each day, on the south four each day, and for the storehouse two by two. As for the Pabar on the west, there were four on the highway and two at the Pabar. These were the divisions of the gatekeepers among the sons of Korah and among the sons of Merari and of the Lewites. Ahiah was over the treasuries of the house of Elohim and over the treasuries of the set-apart gifts. The sons of Ladan, the sons of the Gershonites of Ladan, heads of their father's houses of Ladan, the Gershonite, Yehieli, the sons of Yehieli, Satham and Yoel, his brother, were over the treasuries of the house of Yah, of the Amramites, the Yitsharites, the Hebronites, and the Uzielites. Even Shebuel, son of Gerashon, son of Moshe, was overseer over the treasuries. And his brothers by Eliezer were Rahab Yahu, his son, and Yeshayahu, his son, and Yoram, his son and Zikri his son, and Shlomo his son. This Shlomo and his brothers were over all the treasuries of the set-apart gifts, which Sovereign Dawid and the heads of fathers' houses, the commanders over thousands and hundreds, and the commanders of the army had set apart. Some of the booty won in battles they set apart to maintain the house of Yah. And all that Shemuel the seer, and Shaul son of Kish, and Abner, son of Ner, and Yoab, son of Zeruiah, had set apart. All who were set in apart were under the hand of Shalomith and his brothers. The Yitsharites, Kananyahu, and his sons were for the outward duties as officials and judges over Israel. Of the Hebronites, Hashabyahu and his brothers, 1,700 able men, had the oversight of Israel beyond the Yarden westward, 
for all the work of Yah in the service of the sovereign of the Hebronites. Yeriah was head of the Hebronites according to his genealogy of the fathers. In the 40th year of the reign of Dawid, they were sought and there were found among them able men at Yazer of Gilad. And his brothers were 2,700 able men, heads of fathers' houses, whom sovereign Dawid made officials over the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh in all matters of Elohim and matters of the sovereign.